Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening. How is everything, people? Teacher, eh, buenas noches. Yo todavía no he podido llegar. Ah, all right. All right. No, tuvimos un, un inconveniente y, y tuve que venir a ver aquí por, por San Martín. <laughs> Ah, okay. So it means you're you are on your way home yet. Todavía va de camino a casa. No, o sea, después de aquí voy a dejar el vehículo de la empresa y y de ahí me tengo que ir para mi casa. Ah. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, no problem, Mister. All right. Entonces, pero, o sea, puedo estar aquí conectado, aunque sea. Ah, okay. Para no... Ajá. No hay problema. Mientras resuelvo. Ah, okay. It's okay, it's okay, no problem. Right. Teacher, soy Ajá. William Tobar. Igual yo voy, yo voy en camino ahorita manejando, pero ya me voy a incorporar. Ah, Diego. okay, okay, no problem. Voy a ir solo yendo. All right, perfect, perfect. Drive carefully, no problem, All right? No Hi, problem. teacher, good evening. Good evening, soy la, how's everything? All right, ah, uh, let me see. So we got several people that are on the way home. Some of you are driving, some of you are on, on the way. Uh -huh. Okay, no problem, right? Okay, for the ones who, who are already in the house, that's good. I hope you have had a good day. And uh, now we're gonna, uh, like, you know, start a new topic. We're gonna continue good evening, with teacher. part. Good evening, Gilberto. We're gonna continue with part of what we were studying yesterday. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jonathan. And basically, we're going to start a new topic, which is going to be like kind of easy for you to say like that. So let's start with the things that we got for tonight. So let me pass the attendance list just to start the class. Uh, let's see. Carlos Mauricio. Present. Okay, perfect. Cindy Melanie. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Let's continue. Elvi Quintanilla. All right, Elvi is not yet here. Okay. Uh, Stephanie Michel. Present. <laughs> okay, you're on your way home. All right, nice. Uh, Gustavo Adolfo. Mm. Okay, Gustavo is not here. Let's continue. Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Antonio. Present. Ah, okay. Nice. Jose Edgar. I am his. He says he's driving. Okay. Let's continue. Juan Emanuel. Okay, all right, Jose. Then. Uh, Juan Emanuel, is he here? Let's see. Okay, he hasn't showed up yet. Let's continue. Juan Gilberto. Present teacher. Ah, okay, great. Give me one second. Julio Alberto. I am. Present. Okay, excellent. ausente, pero aquí estoy viendo. <laughs> okay, Dice, okay. aquí estaba reportándome, okay. Elvi. No me podía conectar. Ah, okay, Elvi. All right. Ya le pongo la asistencia, no problem. Give me one second. Yeah. See here. Ah, uh, Julio César. Present. Okay, excellent. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, nice. Luis Gerardo. Present. Okay, excellent. Let's see, Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's move. Wendy Jamilet. Wendy, okay, Wendy's not here. Cool. Uh, William Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. 
Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Uh, Carlos Jose. I'm here teacher present. Okay, excellent. And the last one, we got Zoila Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so let's just start with the things that we got for today. Uh, as I told you, we're going to have, or we are going to start with a review from the previous topic, the one that we were discussing last class. Let's start with that. Uh, what was the main topic that we were discussing last class? Can somebody tell me what was the topic that we were discussing? Correcto, sobre los adverbios de frecuencia, teacher. Ah, okay. Frequency adverbs. ¿Y qué all right, very good. ¿Y qué decíamos que es un frequency adverb? O sea, que se usan que, bueno, por ejemplo, este, que, que tan frecuente usted hace una actividad, ¿verdad? En su Ajá. vida. Eso, 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 eso. Ah, ok, perfect. There you go. Describe That's el fine. verbo. Ah, ok, cool. A, an adverb is the one that describes the verb. Very good. Ok, nice. Uh, can, can you mention the, the most common frequency adverbs that we were practicing? Podrían mencionarme los adverbios de presencia más común. Ok. Always. ¿Quién más? Seldom. All right, very good. What else? Always. Ok, very good. Uh -huh. Never. Never. Ok, never. Perfect. Muy often. often. Ah, ok, often. There you go. Sometimes. Sometimes, usually. Normally. Very good. Normally, very nice. Okay. Those are the ones that we generally use to talk about frequency, right? Entonces, esos son los que usamos para hablar sobre con qué frecuencia nosotros hacemos algo, right? Especially when we talk about those activities that we do every single day, right? The ones that we do every single day. All right. As I told you, yesterday we couldn't finish some things that we have, uh, especially from the manual, right? So that's the thing that we're gonna start today. Uh, we're gonna start with some things related to the manual, right? And specifically, these parts, okay? Teníamos unas pequeñas conversaciones, igual que vamos a practicar ayer, pero como por motivo de la actividad and everything, right, that we were practicing, Eh, digamos que el tiempo no nos, no nos ajustó, así que ahora lo vamos a continuar con esto antes de comenzar el nuevo tema. All right, what are we going to do with this? Uh, as always, we're going to be practicing this short conversation. I am going to read them. If you have questions related to the vocabulary, let me, let me know that at the end of the conversation practice. And then you will go to practice this short conversation for about five minutes with a classmate. And then we're going to perform it here, you know, like in a general class. Let's start. It says, listen, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. It says, this is a conversation between John and Anne, right? Two people. It says, John, how often do you check your email? Listen, how often do you check? your email this is n every two hours and you every two hours and you it says john well well i try to check it as often as i can i try to check it as often as i can and how often do you call your clients? And how often do you call your clients? It says, it says, and I often call them once a week. I often call them once a week on Monday. On Monday. But I usually call them on Friday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. To check their order. Do you call clients? Do you call 
clients itself. This is John. Yes, I always call them. I always call them. All right. First thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. I believe. I believe it is important to have contact. It is important to have contact with them all the time. With them all the time. It says, and you are right. You are right. Okay, cool. So this short vocabulary that we show in the presentation, do you have any question? Any doubt? Maybe in pronunciation or the meaning of a word? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación al vocabulario de esta pequeña conversación? Something that probably you don't remember or you don't know? Or everything is okay? Yeah, yeah. tell me. Esta palabra viene la pronunciación. ¿A cuál, Gilberto? Donde dice morning, hay viene. Ah, ok, all right. Eh, casi no se lo escucho muy bien, pero creo que, creo que, give me one second. En, en This la, one. En la lectura de, de Jones. ¿Este? ¿Este? Sí, yes. Ok, ok. La pronunciación es believe. 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 Exactly, believe. believe. Believe, que significa creer. That's the meaning, right? Creer. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, cool. Something else or everything is okay right up to now? Todo hasta acá está claro? Like perfect? Okay, cool. If everything is okay, there you go. Let me see. Who teacher. are... Ajá, uh -huh, Jose, tell me. Digo, eh, en la palabra donde dice... Clients... Your client... ¿Cómo se pronuncia clients? Ah, this one. Clients. Clients. Client. Client. Listen, listen. Clients. Clients. Exactly. Clients. Ok, gracias. Ok, very good. All right, perfect. If you don't have any other question, just, just, just to confirm. Who are the ones that are, sure. uh, are busy right now? Aha. Uh -huh. Any other question? De, de lo que estamos viendo ayer Ajá. de la de las seis preguntas de que estuvimos practicando ajá chao mi Gilberto yo las hice y quisiera saber si están bien no nah, okay con la clase. ok ok pues como solo, yo, yo no las dije ajá solo Gilberto no sé si puede mover un poco lo del, lo del micrófono. Tal vez eso es lo que le está causando como una voz medio robótica. Please, please. Es que casi no se le escucha muy bien. Hola, hola. Ah, ok. Mm, Continúa un poco, no. pero, pero, pero. Va, lea, lea las oraciones o las preguntas que tenga. No problem. Vamos a ver. Así sin micrófono, vamos a ver sin audio. Ay, ahora sí se lo escucha perfectamente bien. Ahora sí. Yo hice, hice mis seis preguntas, pero quisiera saber si están bien. Ah, ok, ok, cool. Bueno, la primera sí ya. Ajá. How, how often uh -huh. do you go to, ch to chor? Ok. Uh -huh. Eh, yo yo la, le di respuesta como I, I will go to church Ok, I always go to church Very good Está bien así Yes, it's ok Second question La segunda How often does she tell Mary? Uh -huh. eh, she usually tell Mary every day Ok, ok. Solo que el verbo ahí tendría que ser has. Ah, 
Okay. She usually has many exactly. every day. Exactly. Ajá. Sí, puede poner every day, no problem. All right, pero el verbo sí, ajá, sería has. Very good. Porque lleva, porque lleva, estamos hablando de, de ella, she. Exactly. She has. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Por eso, mero. Cool. Let's continue with the other one. Bien, le da la uh, otra. How often do they go to the beach? Ok. Yo la respondí como they sometimes go to the beach. Ah, ok, very good. Eh, la siguiente. How often does he do the laundry? Uh -huh. eh, yo la respondí como he always do the laundry. In that case, it would be he always, all right, does, does, all right. En vez de a, a, al do, agreguémosle es. Como es tercera persona. Uh, he always does, does exactly. the laundry. Exactly. He always does the laundry. Okay. Después la corrijo. Okay. La número cinco. How often does Roxana send reports? Ajá. Eh, she often send report. Ah, okay, very good. Sends report, right? Y la última. How often does Jamilek take car of Herson? Ajá. Eh, la contesté como si alguien car hoy o herson ok she always takes care of her son like that right uh -huh. ah ok cool yes. ya yeah, el verbo take con s ok porque es tercera persona take exactly take care of herson exactly right Solo ahí hay las modificaciones entonces que, 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 que corresponden con el verbo, ¿ok? Ok. Very good. Thank La demás lo tiene que ir. Very good. All right, Gilberto. Thank let's you. continue. Thank All right, let's continue. Just to confirm people. Uh, ok, like right now, right now, people who are busy is just Julio Alberto, William, and Jose Edgar. Jose Edgar because he's driving. William because he's driving too. And Julio Alberto because he's on the way home. But Jose Pineda, Jorge Alberto, Jonathan, Michelle, uh, Carlos Gamero, and Carlos Cabe. Are you there? Michel, yo ya voy llegando. Es que estaba mandando mis cosas. Ah. Oh, okay. All right, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I mean, I'm confirming this. Estoy confirmando esto porque, like, in that case, eh, we're going to go to practice this for a short moment. Vamos a, a practicar un poco la conversación por un momento. Y pues. Me gustaría saber si todos estamos en sintonía, ¿ok? All right, cool. Solo entonces, Julio Alberto, uh -huh, William Ernesto, and uh, Jose Edgar. Ok. We are going to be the ones who got those issues. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing this, ¿ok? And uh, let's go to practice this short conversation, ¿ok? Vamos a ir a practicar esta pequeña conversación por unos cinco minutos. Right, just to practice the vocabulary. Lo que me interesa es que pues podamos producir ese vocabulario, practicarlo en preguntas, respuestas, you know, like that's like the most important thing, right? Okay, cool. Uh, just give me one second. I'm gonna create the groups. Like right now, you are 20 people. Okay, to shift your time. All right, give me one second. I'm going to assign this one. Mm. All right, so Michelle is about to get home. Teacher. Yes. Hágame un gran favor. Ajá. ¿Qué ¿Me puede, me puede poner la imagen otra vez? Es que no sé qué hice el folder. <laughs> okay. All right, no problem. Sí. Eh, solo, solo, solo voy a crear los grupos un momentito y luego a. Okay. Uh, Entraré a, 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 
a, a ponerlo, ¿ok? Para que le tome una screen. Perfecto, okay. perfecto muchas gracias. All right, perfecto. no problem. Ok. O si no, alguien que ayude a mandar por el WhatsApp. Please, please, please. I just a minute, I connect. All right, give me one second, give me one second, people. Ahí se la mandé, soy mi. Ah, ya se la mandaron ahí. Ah, ok. Muchas teacher. gracias. Right, ya, ya estoy en casa, teacher, por si me ah, puedo agregar al grupo. Ah, ya está en casa, ok. Ok, perfecto. Perfecto. All right. Uh, just, entonces vamos a poner agregado aquí, ok. Vamos a poner. All right. Gilberto. Solo me dice qué página de la conversación era. All right. Give me one second. Give me one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, I'm gonna send three people to the room. It's page, it's page 19. Uh -huh, actually, give me one second. I'm creating the groups. I'm doing it. I'm doing it manually. That's why it, it is taking me time. Okay, Juan Campos is there, right? Right. Yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, Gilberto. I thought Gilberto is Gilberto. I think that's um for Gilberto. Okay. Jesus, man. Um. Give me one second, please. This is taking me so long. Okay. That's good. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So I got the groups in here all already. All right. Let's open the rooms and let's go to work. You got five minutes to practice, okay? Let's go to it. All right, Xiomara, let's give a set. I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually, I, I usually, Call on Friday to check to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. 
I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You, you are right. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahora, ¿Can you ahora, dime? Pero, How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. I can. And how often do, do you call your clients? clients? I, uh, mm -hmm. I often call them call, once call. a week on Monday. But I usually call them. Ahorita, este, les ayudaría, pero <ríe> se me hace bien complicado. No, no, no pues, es el problema. All right, no puede ir nosotros. Uh, por eso, sí, puse, hay, discurso, por eso, quise, por eso lo puse en tres, no problema. Por eso lo puse acá como tres. Julio is on the way home. So, Xiomara si y Jorge are going to practice. Okay. okay. All right. Sí, ahí, ahí Julio para que escuche nada más. Sí, yo estoy ahí tratando okay. de leerlo en los ratitos que, que, que me queda. All right, no problem. Ah, okay. Okay. Pero gracias, teacher. Ok. Entonces continuamos nosotros. You, you write I ring. Hola, hola. You, you I ring. Así sería. Hola. Hola. Ay, no me escucha. Me, me, me. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola, yo creo, me escucha. Yo creo que no sé si era mi señal o sí le escucho ahora, pero no sé ah, si era mi... Sí, era la suya, William. Se había quedado frisado. Ah, Se había quedado frisado. Ok. Ah, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Entonces, vamos, vamos de nuevo. Ok. Eh, how often do you check your email? Every. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call the once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. I often <laughs> call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Every, every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week. Oh, no, 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 but I also. How often? Why you crying? I often, I, I often call the train once a week on Monday. Would you solid it? I call the on Friday to, to set. Say or do you call claim? Yes, I always call the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have all the time. You are right. Me mention yo. Bueno. How often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check in the half often as I come. And uh, often do you call you clean? 
I often call them once a week. On Monday back, I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call client? Yes, I was going to first that in the morning. I believe, I believe it is important to have contact with them at the, the time. You are right. Comienza usted. Okay. okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours and you. Well, I try to check it as often as oh. I can. And how often do you call your client? How often can I stay off? Once I wait on Monday, but I usually call. ¿Y qué hay ahí? ¿El turismo ahí o qué? ¿Mande? Hay turismo. Hola, teacher. Este ya no. terminamos. <risa> ok. All right. Pero, ¿sí? <risa> All right. Is there a, 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 where, where is where is the tourism? Hay, si hay turistas aquí, son turistas. No, ah, hay otra zona turística ahí no. en Armenia, en Sonate. Ah, Armenia, ya, yeah, right, en Sonate. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. uh, I have gone only to Huayua. Lindo Huayua, sí, por Yeah, I mean, I have gone to. Yeah, yeah, only Huayua en Sonate. ¿Ataco? No, I have... Yeah, but I have never gone to Ataco, man. Just why you are. Mm, not that, not exactly. I just went to Hayua to a, a gastronomic festival in there. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. I just went there once. Yeah, I mean, it, it, that, that was the only place I visited that time. Then I went, but just to a Lago de Patepeque. So that's it. Uh -huh. Is the most common the Peque. Uh -huh, the yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, I mean, I, ha I haven't visited that much Occidente. I just have gone to Huayua, and I remember I went once to visit uh, some friends' families, but in Salchuapa, uh, I think is the name of it. Santana, right? Santana, right? Santa Ana, right? Sí, ahí es famoso la yuca. Ah? Ahí es famoso la yuca y la horchata. Ajá, ajá de, exactly. De exactly. No, Santa Ana solo hay el que fui. No conozco muy bien. No, ya me, la, mi, también igual yo, ya estamos como y hoy, medio nulos ahí. Me tocó, y hoy me tocó ir de nuevo, pero eh, ahí eso comprarme un carro y ahora fui a traer las placas. Ah, Santa Ana, está lejos. That's nice. Sí. Pero no como de aquí hasta Santa Ana. From San Miguel to Santa Ana. That's pretty far. No, son de la Unión. San Miguel, ¿no? Yes, I live in San Miguel. Uh, Ay, qué calor. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, kind of. From here to Santa Ana, it's like, let me see. Depending on the traffic, it's like four, five hours to get there. Yo voy a San Miguel también. Ah, a a ah, cool, cool. I don't, I don't really live specifically in the center of San Miguel. I live in a in a municipality that is called El Transito between. It's basically between San Miguel and Usulután. Ah, yeah. eh, zona limítrofe. Eh, eh, tomando, eh. tomando la, la litoral, exactly. Mm -hmm. Lejos. Yeah, I'm in pretty far. Poquito lejos. <laughs> Pero no viene a San Salvador, sí va a San Salvador. Nah, only when it's necessary. Cuando es necesario, ya, yeah, I mean, we gotta go there. Tenemos que ir. Teacher, teacher perdón. Entonces, usted vive todavía en el tránsito. Ajá, ajá. 
vaya el tránsito. Ah, pues, chido. Ah, pues está bien ahí porque no pasa en la ciudad. Aquí es asfixiante la ciudad. Ah, ya, yeah, man. Es like... Uh. Me está bendecido vivir ahí en el, en el campo, pues. Basically, ajá, uh, exactly. Basically, it's like, here is like the countryside. I mean, in here, what you can look is only animals. <laughs> sí, sí. It's like animals and all those things. Exactly. It's not that, it's not that, yeah, like, exaggerated, like, like in the city. That's cool. Cool teacher. Yeah. All right. Good. Let's go, let's go to the main section, okay? Because I need you to practice okay. that one, okay? Let's see you there. Bye, bye. No, okay. Okay, cool. Now that you have practiced uh, the short conversation already, uh, we are going to perform it in here to the whole class, okay? That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, in this case, the first one that appears on my list is Veronica. Veronica, who are you working with? With Karen. Ah, with Karen. All right, cool. Let's start over, all right? Comencemos entonces. I don't know who's going to start, but I would like you to practice, okay? Let's go. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first time in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Karen and Veronica. You did it excellent. Uh, now, Soila, who are you working with? Cool. Julio Cesar, all right, sí. the emperor, okay, cool, all right, let's, just, let's just start. Ah. <laughs> yeah. How often no. do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check as often as I can, and how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call crying? Yes, I always call the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with the whole the time. You are right. Okay, perfect. Thank you, uh, Soila and uh, Julio. Now, let's continue. William, who were you practicing with? Con Cindy. All right, with Cindy. Okay, let's start the practice. Okay. How often do you check your email? Teacher, ya vine. Nah. Okay, all right. Lo siento, me levanté. Okay, okay. Uh, William is, is about to, is starting basically the conversation. You continue. Okay. Um, ya dijo la primera, William. Voy a, voy a comenzar de nuevo. Voy a ah, comenzar. Porfa, porfa, porfa. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> How often do you check your email? Every two, every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can in a, in how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to shake their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You and right. There you go. Thank you, Cindy. 
and uh, William, you did an excellent. Cool. Now, Jorge, who were you practicing with? With Xiomara Cisneros. Ah, okay, perfect. Let's let's start. Okay. Uh, how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Xiomara and Jorge. Okay, you did it excellent. Now, Carlos Gamero, who were you practicing with? What campus? Okay, perfect. Let's start, Mister. How how often do you check your email? Okay. Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check. I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Carlos. And uh, Juan, there you go. Gerardo, who were you practicing with? Veronica Ayala. Now, Veronica. Okay. Okay, cool. There you go. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call it on Friday to check their order. You can client. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is import, important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Gerardo and Ivania. Now, Jose Pineda, who were you working with? Yes. How often do you check your email? Conmigo le tocó. Okay, yeah, Michelle, do it. Yes. Es que no tenía cámara. <laughs> no sabía quién uh. es. Okay. Ay, no. <laughs> Pero okay. Sí hace. <laughs> okay, now you recognize your partner. Okay, cool. Bye, Let's yes. continue. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? With, with it three to check, check is how often asking and how often do you call your clients? Clean. Clean. Yeah, clients. I, clients. I, I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. Always. I always. Always. Call the first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with 
thing and the, and the time. You are right. Now, nah, okay, cool. Thank you, Jose and Michelle. You did it great. Now, let's move on. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. You and Yans already participated. Jose, too. Elvi, do you participate already? No, right? Hey. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Carlos. Yeah, with Carlos. Let's start, Carlos. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. No. You are right. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Carlos and LB. Uh, Gilberto. Okay. Mister, who are you practicing with? Conmigo, ah, with Jonathan. Jonathan. You, Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay, perfect. Jonathan, let's start. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Where I try to check it as often as I can. How often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the year order to you call client. Yes, I welcome the first thing in the morning. I build it in the morning. To have contact by saying I think time all the time. All the time. Okay. You are right. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Gilberto. And uh, Jonathan, you did it excellent. Now let's continue. Mm, let me see who has not participated. Well, most of you had the cameras off. Okay, who who are the ones that are missing? Bien, algún grupo que me falte todavía. Uh, turn the cameras, people on. I don't know who 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 is in there. Okay, thank you, thank you. Cool. I think most of you have already participated. Creo que ya pasamos todos. Yeah, man, all of them. Okay, cool. If we have already participated, all of them. Now it's time to start the other topic that we got because we're kind of uh, behind, right? It's like 8.52. So let's start the new topic that I got for tonight because I do really want to complete it too before the main time, you know, like finish. Okay, so this is like the new topic that we're gonna be discussing for the rest of the class. This is like the video conference number seven. Let's remember that. And tonight's topic is going to be how to use imperatives. That's the main topic. How to use imperatives, right? This is the topic for the class number seven from tonight, okay? How to use imperatives. All right, let's continue with this. Okay, the agenda. Let's talk a little bit about what are we going to be doing. Like the review from the previous class is something that we have finished. Es algo que ya acabamos de terminar. Now, introduction to imperatives, like that's, you know, like the beginning of everything. The structure and example. Then we're going to have a short conversation related to this in the manual. And then we're going to do some series of exercises over there in the manual. And then we're going to check those exercises. So this is pretty much what we have for the rest of the class, okay? Cool, let's start, you know, like in a hurry with this topic. Let's move. It says, okay, what are commands and what are imperatives? Cuando hablamos de imperativos, 
básicamente estamos hablando de comandos. Y si hablamos de comandos, ¿a qué nos referimos con eso? What do you think it is? ¿Qué creen ustedes que es? Un comando o un imperativo. Como la unión para una frase. La unión para una frase. No, ok, it makes sense. Something else? Es como una expresión de orden o, o como mandar algo, algo así. <laughs> mandar algo o, o like, like por correo. No, no, no. Mandar de, 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 de No, decirle. no, como dar una orden, algo así. Ah, ok. Yeah, I mean, there you go. Thank you, Veronica. So, basically, what Veronica is saying is basically true. Okay, lo que Verónica está diciendo básicamente es, es la función principal que tiene un imperativo. ¿Para qué necesitamos nosotros un imperativo? Básicamente es cuando damos una orden para poder hacer algo. All right? This is pretty much. Entonces, básicamente un imperativo es un comando. Right? A command. And what is that? It says, listen. Commands are direct instructions in order to do something. Ah, son instrucciones directas, ok, o órdenes para hacer algo, right? Like to do something. For example, check this out. Do your homework. Do your homework, All right? Algo peculiar de este tipo de estructuras es que acá estas no constan de subject. Estas estructuras solo constan de verbo y complemento. El verbo que va a indicar la acción sobre la cual ustedes van a mandar all right, o dar instrucciones. Y el complemento pues para saber con mayor... Uh, facilidad o claridad, por así decirlo, a qué nos estamos refiriendo, right? Like, for example, do your homework, right? Do is the verb and your homework, that's the complement, okay? That's the complement. So basically, that is a command. Another one, check this out. Write a letter. Write a letter. So in this case, what we basically are doing in here is just to provide a command or an imperative to another person, okay? Like for example, as I was saying, cuando damos un, un, una orden o una instrucción a ya sea una persona o un grupo de personas, right? Like for example, right? An extra example, if I tell you people, Turn on your cameras. Turn on your cameras. So you see, that is a command, that is a, a imperative that I am basically giving you as an instruction, okay? So entonces, básicamente ahí es como una instrucción o una orden que básicamente estamos dando, right? At the moment of speaking. Go to work. There's another one, right? Like, ah. Ve a trabajar, right? There you go. So that's another one, right? Cool. Let's continue. This is another one. What is this? Gilberto, read the last one. Ayúdeme a leer la última, Gilberto. Participé in Part the class. Okay, participate in the class. Okay, cool. Ah, participen en clase, right? So, básicamente, ¿qué estamos haciendo ahí? Estamos dando una instrucción o básicamente una orden, okay, ya sea a una persona o un grupo de personas, okay, para poder hacer algo, right? Just to do something. Entonces, a eso nos referimos con el uso de un imperativo, right? Basically, is when we give a command about something, right, that you want that person or that group to do. All right. Now, in your house, take a look at that. In your house, what are the most common commands that you generally provide or give? 
¿Cuáles son esas órdenes, esos comandos que por lo general ustedes dan en su casa? Listen up, listen, listen. Ah, ok. Ah, ok, that, that's one. Listen up, listen, listen. Related, related to your house, relacionados a su casa, quiero que me, que me escriban cuatro, cuatro órdenes que ustedes generalmente o comúnmente dan en sus casas. Four, ya sea a un miembro de su familia, a un hijo, a su esposo, a su esposa, right? Like something else, right? You know. Mientras lo hacen, voy a pasar la segunda asistencia. Because it's time, okay? Then we're going to read the orden. <laughs> Pero usted le Yo da no orden. No, no, a mí me da. Listen, listen. <laughs> Pero usted tiene que dar aunque sea el perrito de la casa. I mean, if you have a dog or something. Ah. Ah. No tengo. <laughs> Ah, ok, all right. ahorita va a tomar así como la, 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 la acción de la señora de la casa. All right. Vaya, pues. Cool, vaya, cool, pues cool. There you go. All right, give me one second. I'm gonna stop sharing for a moment. I'm gonna pass the attendance list, and you, in the meantime, you are doing that. Let's see. Carlos Mauricio. Sure. All right. Cindy Melanie. Present teacher. Okay. Elvi Quintanilla. I'm present teacher. Perfect. Stephanie Michelle. Present. Very nice. Gustavo Adolfo. All right. He's not here. Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Very nice. Jose Antonio. Present. All right. José, ahora le van a tocar los 10 minutos de uh, retroalimentación, ¿ok? So, me gustaría que se quede después de clase, ¿ok? At the end of the class. Yes. All right, perfect, thank you. Let's move. Uh, José Edgar. Uh, José Edgar. Uh, ok, I mean, he's still driving, I think. Ah, Juan Emanuel. I'm present. Okay, very good. Let's continue, Juan Gilberto. Present teacher. Ah, okay, nice. Julio Alberto. Todavía estoy oyendo, teacher. Ah, okay, no Por problem. Por aquí estoy todavía. All right, no problem, mister. No problem. Gracias. All right, Julio César. Present. Okay, excellent. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, nice. Luis Gerardo. Present. Excellent. Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, nice. Let's move Wendy Yamilet. All right, she's not here. William Ernesto. Present. Okay, excellent. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, nice. Luis Jonathan. Present, teacher. Nice. Carlos Jose. I'm here, teacher. Present. Very nice. And the last one, Soy la Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. There you go. Okay, let me know when you finish, okay? Let me know when you finish the comments that you were basically doing. Finish, teacher. Okay, Carlos, let's start with, I'm gonna start with you, Carlos. Let's read the ones that you have. Okay, the, the first one is go, go to bed. Okay, go to bed. The second one is brush your teeth. Okay, very good. The, sec, uh, the, the, the third one, Eat your food. Eat your food, okay. The last one, wash your hands. Okay, cool. All right. That's directly to your kids, right? <laughs> okay. Yes. Up to that. Ah, okay. There you go. Cool, Carlos. Thank you. Karen. Your turn, Karen. Turn off the light. Okay, cool. Close the door. All right. Wash the dishes. Perfect. 
do the homework. Okay, do the homework. Very good, Karen. Thank you. All right, who else has finished? Me. You. Okay, cool. Me. First, first Xiomara, then William, and then... Yo. Ah, uh, Michelle. Yo. All right, and then Cindy. <laughs> Okay, but let's just a minute. You think I've already commenced? All right, let's start over. Let us see. Let's see. Let's see. Help to do help to do chores. Ah, okay. Help to do the chores. Clean your room. Okay. Wash your clothes. Perfect. Go to pay the bills. Ah, okay. <laughs> and drink enough water. No, okay, very good. All right, those are the ones. Thank you, Xiomara. William, what are yours? <clears throat> Go to sleep. Okay. Watch the dog. Uh-huh. Uh, cook the dinner. Perfect. Uh, close the window. Close the window. All right, cool. Uh, now, Michelle and then Juan Campos. Okay. Uh Call I my sister. Mm. Call my sister. Uh huh. No. It's better call your sister. Call your sister. Okay. Yes. Lo corrijo. Okay. Eh, cook the lunch. Okay. Mm, buy fruit. Buy Esta fruit. Vinas. Buy fruits. Ajá. Con oh. esa, ¿verdad? Yes, fruits. Plural. Y eat the soup. Ah, eat the soup. Okay. Cool. Eat the soup. There you go. Thank you, Michelle. All right. Y así adulta responsable, right? Dando órdenes. Cool. Let's see. Juan, where, is, where are you? Juan Campos. Okay. Okay, um, then after Juan, give me one second. After Juan is Jonathan, and after Jonathan is Elby, okay? Cool, Juan. Let's continue. Okay. Go to the bed. Okay. Also, take a shower. Nice. Then turn on the watch TV. Okay. Also, go to the supermarket. Okay, very good. Just four or five. Yeah, I mean, that one, that one, that one. That one is okay, right? Go to the supermarket. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Juan. Now, Jonathan. What's my dinner, bro? Okay. Clear me, bro. What's my... What's my bathroom, bro? Uh, uh, all right, all right, all right. Listen, 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 Jonathan. Eh, no. Técnicamente están correctas. Lo único que me, quiero que me cambie es el posesivo que tiene. En vez de decir my, diga your. Porque your. acuérdese que es una orden que usted está dando a alguien más. Ok. Ok. Change it. Change it. O sea, sería was, was your bathroom. Was your bathroom. Ok, very good. Uh -huh. eh, Clean your china cabinet. Ah, okay, cool. Yes. All right. There you go, Jonathan. Cool. Thank you. Elvi. Clean your room. Nice. Take the dog for a walk, please. Okay. Uh, sleep early. Okay. Uh, close the, the door. All right. Which one? Read it again. Ah, study. All right. Study. Okay, very good. Thank you, Elby. Somebody else has finished? Me, teacher. Yes. Okay, so Ila. Um, Open the window. Okay. Make to report. All right. 
wash the dishes. Perfect. Clean the house. Okay. Close the doors. And close the door. There you go, Soila. Thank you. Okay, cool. Who else has finished? Somebody else? Yes. Okay, Jose. Go to the store for water. Okay. Write a song. Perfect. Go to the movies. Go to the movies, okay. Those are the ones that you have, Jose? Yes, solo, solo tres. Ah, okay, okay. No problem, Jose, thank you. Now, Gerardo. Me corrigen es también. Yes, man, I will correct you, no problem. Good day, hey, but. Okay, go and take a bath. All right, perfect. Pick up your toys. Okay, very good. Do your homework. Okay. Go wash your hands. Okay, very good. Go and wash your hands. Finish. <laughs> Those are the ones that you got. Okay, cool. Thank you, Gerardo. Uh, let's see, who else, who else has finished? Your teacher. All right, Cindy, go. Um, clean, clean the house. Okay. Watch the dish. Dishes. dishes. Okay. Uh-huh. Tie up the bed. Okay. And make the lunch. Make the lunch. Okay, very good, Cindy. Thank you. Now, Gilberto. Hmm. Joanna, do your homework. No, can I do your homework? Mom, next? Mommy, mommy, give me food, please. Give me food, please. Uh, okay, okay, that's the other way. Very good. Continue. Uh, Miley, you're, you're off the TV. Turn off the TV, okay. Uh, mommy, wash my clothes. Wash my clothes. Okay, very good. My so clothes. basically, that's another, right? Mommy, wash my clothes. All right, very nice. Thank you, Gilberto. Jorge. Thank you, teacher. All right, Jorge. Hi, teacher. Uh, wash your hands. Okay. Brush your teeth. Very good. You must drink a lot of water. Ah, okay, you must drink a lot of water. Very good. There you go. Uh, go to buy. Go to buy. Okay, you can even include a compliment, like go to buy food. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Jorge. Okay. Falta yo. Perfect, Ivania, let's go. Okay, Gua wash your dishes. Okay. Clean your the room. Okay. Go to the church. Go to church. Sight you're on the couch. Okay. Cuatro. All right, there you go. Thank you, Vania. Nice. Who else has finished? Who else is missing? Yo. All right, Julio. <laughs> uh, go to offline room. Okay. Uh, clean in the 
clean the bathroom. Clean the bathroom. Very good. Uh, go to the bed. Okay. Y esta, sí, no sé, down to the music. Down to Baja the music. La música. Uh -huh. Okay. In that case, mm -hmm. turn the volume down to the music. Mm. Turn the volume down. That's like, ah, bájale a la música, right? Ah, true. Especially when you are, especially when you are, you know, like, like talking about loud music on a stereo. All right, cool. I think I haven't, I haven't missed or I haven't skipped anyone. Let's continue with the presentation. Give me one second. I'm just. All right. I'm just got this one. Now, let's talk about the structure. As I told you, the structure is pretty simple because it's something that you have already managed. Check this out. Use please, it says, plus the command to sound more polite. All right. In this case, in this case, remember, ese tipo de comandos o de órdenes, como no llevan básicamente un subject, okay, por lo general, no lo llevan, le podemos agregar palabras como please, right, like por favor, para tener un poco más de, 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 de politeness en una oración, okay, o en un comando. Es básicamente para hacer más un tanto más eh, formal, por así decirlo, right? Uh, the command. Examples. Check this out. Ivania, read this example. Please place an um, order more for more boxes. Okay, for more boxes, actually. All right, good. Please place an order for more boxes. In that case, the word please is basically giving you the instruction that you are very, very, very polite in some case, right? Entonces ahí la, el, de, la palabra please nos da la pauta de que lo estamos pidiendo de una manera un tanto más educada, right? So this is the way. Now, second example, Elvi. Call the supervisor, please. Ok, call the supervisor, please. Generalmente cuando la palabra please la llevamos al final o la colocamos al final, todo el resto de la oración anterior, right, tiene que estar dividido por una coma, right? That's what we generally going to do do that. Si ven el primer ejemplo, no lleva coma porque lleva la palabra please al principio. Pero si lleva la palabra please, por lo general, al final de la oración, Entonces, esa oración tiene que ir dividida por una coma. All right, this is pretty much. Uh, with, this, with these things, ¿tenemos alguna, alguna pregunta con relación a esto? ¿Alguna duda? Before moving on. I know this is like not that difficult topic. I know it's something like really easy for you guys. Teacher, y aquí en esto... Los verbos no cambian, mantienen su forma. Exactly. Por lo general acá es la forma base del verbo. ¿Por okay. qué? Porque eh, básicamente es con el que usted inicia la conversación o, o por así decirlo, eh, la orden o la instrucción que usted va a dar. Right? Por lo tanto, el verbo tiene que ir en forma base. Right? No, ya, no modificado. Por eso es que siempre se coloca la forma base en ese tipo de uh, oraciones, por así llamarlo. Y aquí, teacher, no utilizamos do, eh, you, she, he. No, a eso es lo que me refería. Que básicamente acá la eh. función principal es el verbo que indica la acción y el complemento que indica sobre qué estamos hablando. ¿okay? Entonces, básicamente aquí es para dar un tipo de orden o instrucción usando verbos y complementos. Si okay. estamos hablando de comer, por ejemplo, usted sabe que el, la, eh, comer es eat, ¿ok? Entonces, Michelle, si yo la veo a usted con un hambre extrema, ¿ok? Like super extreme, y tiene una gran pizza, yo le puedo decir, Michelle, eat 
four slices of pizza. Ah, Michelle, ¿cómo hace ocho rebanadas de pizza? So, ¿qué estoy haciendo en este caso acá? Dándole una instrucción a usted, Michelle, right? To do something. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Some command examples. Veronica, help me reading this one. Please write a memo. Creo que así okay. Se dice. Yeah, I mean memo or a memorandum. All right, very good. Uh, William, help me reading this one. Please send a check. Okay, very good. Next one, Zoila. Please check the report. Thank you. Juan Campos. Please supervise the employees. All right, thank you. Cindy. Go to a meeting, please. Okay, perfect. Go to a meeting, please. There you go. Next one, Karen. Please connect to the class on time. Ah, okay, very nice. Julio, Cesar. Please turn on the camera. Ah, okay, cool. Please turn on the camera. There you go. And the last one, Carlos Chavez. Please participate. Okay, very good. Like, please participate. Ah, por favor, participen, right? O participar. That depends on the context or that depends on the person or group of people that you're going to provide this type of commands, okay? This type of commands. There you go. If you don't have any question with this thing, Let's continue. Now, let's go straight to the manual. Cool. Si no tenemos ninguna pregunta de cómo formular ese tipo de eh, comandos o instrucciones, vámonos para el manual. In the manual, in there, we will find something that is like kind of nice because Ah, we have a conversation actually. Perfect. But before, before moving on, pero antes de movernos al manual, me gustaría saber cuáles son esas, esos comandos, esos imperativos que ustedes generalmente usan en el trabajo. Ya me mencionaron unos relacionados a su casa. Las órdenes que le dan a sus hijos, a su esposo, a su esposa. Ok. Or something else, right? Now, ¿cuáles son esas, esas frases que ustedes mencionan en el trabajo? All right? Like, in my case, in my case, I say like, hey, please do the homework. <laughs> Me as a teacher in the, in, the, in the work, you know, do the homework, come early. Ah, venga temprano, right? Right? Like, uh, what? Else? Pay attention in class. Ah, ponga atención en clase, right? And another one. Can we make something negative? Yeah. For example, don't eat in the class. That's a negative imperative. Ya ahí estoy hablando de un imperativo negativo, right? ¿Por qué? Porque estoy diciendo que no haga algo, right? So in that case, it's considered like an imperative. Cool. Let's do the same dynamic. Vamos a hacer la misma dinámica. Cuatro. Cuatro imperativos que ustedes generalmente hacen o dan en su trabajo. ¿Y fue en eso? Yes. No. Es que uno le va a decir ahorita. Ah, ok. No, I want four, four, four of them. ¿Cómo se dice cotización? Give me one second. I'm going to send it to you here. What? Cotización. Yeah, I'm going to send it to you. Actually, I think it's the same. Teacher. Uh-huh. 
Eh, acá siempre le, aquí ya sería siempre con el please. Yeah, in that case, if you want to be more formal, porque como ya estamos en el trabajo, ya estamos dando, digamos, ciertas órdenes en el trabajo, ya, ya usaríamos please para sonar un poco más formal. Ok. Dice right. otra consulta. Ajá. Y digamos para si es como algo negativo, como por ejemplo, no comas aquí o algo así. Ah, ahí ya usaríamos don't. Pero eso sería al inicio. Exacto, al inicio. Sería don't eat here. Ahí oh, lo mandé okay. al chat. Al igual que eh, la palabra cotiz cotización, o sea, cotizar. That is quote. Entonces, digamos que para una instrucción, por ejemplo, no, a, no, no correr o algo así, siempre es don al principio. Siempre, siempre va a ser don't. Exacto. No. Like, por ejemplo, ¿han escuchado la expresión don't worry? No te preocupes. You see, no somehow that's, that's, that's what that. Listo. Ok, cool. Listo, teacher. Ok, cool. Let me see. Elvi, you were the one that we're saying about the, the, the word quote, right? Ok. Cotización. ¿Cómo se ¿Cómo se dice? Quote. 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 That, Quote. But, but the only difference is like, that, that one is the verb. Ese es el verbo. Quotation like this. Esa sería cotización, que ya vendría a ser el nombre. Ok. Bueno. Okay. Eso. Let me know when you finish. Okay. Phoenix. Phoenix teacher. Ok, nice. Let's start. Phoenix teacher. All right, cool. I'm going to start no, no, with... Un cigarro este, mira. Esto, pues. Ves, uno. Oh, mi brother, cuídate. Sí. Ok, okay Carlos. Let's start, Carlos Chávez. Ok, the first one is move the material. Uh, move the material, there you go. Make a, a report. Very good. Hurry up. <laughs> ok, hurry up. Uh, and, and the last one, unload, unload the truck. Ok, move the truck. There you go. Esa expresión, a, a, a pesar de que se, simplemente solo son dos palabritas, hurry up, es considerado un phrasal verb, un verbo frasal. Esa, esa, esa es como, es como un comando, like, 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 you know, like directly, right? Hurry up. Apúrate. Entonces no aplica aquí o qué? No, ya, yeah, I mean, lo que estoy bueno. diciendo es que es súper directo, right? Ah, sí, sí. Yeah, I mean, directly. Okay, cool. Thank you, Carlos. Nice. Ah, uh, who else? Yo. Okay, turn on the microphone and read them. Cool. William, Yo. let's continue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, first. Karen. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Early, please. Okay. Please call the clients. Mm -hmm. Please send the email. Okay. Make the report. All right. Please, bueno, eh, lo había hecho de dos maneras, pero le dice make the report o please check the report. Okay, both ways are possible. Both ways are correct. Yeah, finish. There you go. Thank you, William. Now, Karen and then Cindy. And then Soila. Okay. Send and, an email, please. Okay, cool. Put on the mask. Okay. Please clean the office. All right. Please receive the order. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Karen. Nice. Cindy. Yes. Um, make tomorrow's design, please. 
Mm -hmm. um, please take the photo, photos. Ah, okay. Don't, don't come in late. Don't come late. And, but me the memory, please. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Cindy. Now, Soila, and then Jonathan, okay. and then Elby. Please clean the laboratory. Okay. Please, please check the email before the exam. Okay. Please wash the cristalería. Cristalería, ¿cómo se dice? All right, the glass, basically. Ah, okay, the glass. Please read the new method of bacterium. Okay. Finish. All right, perfect. Thank you, Soila. Now, Jonathan. Please come earlier to work. Okay. Please go to to my garbage. Okay. Please, do, please don't a a hair. Please don't. Sir, so, please don't eat. Ah, please don't eat. Okay, uh -huh. don't eat. Please do tours on the machine. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. All right, that's the one. Thank you, Jonathan. To you, Elvi. Um, check emails, please. Send the quote. Okay. Please. Um, please call the phone. Um, please visit the client. Clean the desk, please. Ah, okay. Desk. All right. There you go. Thank you, Elvi. There you go. Ah, uh, soy la. Estaba levantando la, la mano. Sorry, teacher. ¿Qué me pasa aquí? <laughs> ah, okay, okay, all right. Sorry, no, no, no. Okay, all right, no problem. Juan Campos. And then Michelle. Okay. Um, prepare the coffee. Okay. The second, connect the meeting. Speak loud. Okay. And be careful in your spot. Ah, okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Juan. Now, Michelle. Hola. No sé qué lo estoy haciendo. Esa mano no se baja. Pero ya terminé. <laughs> okay, Michelle. Let's do it. Vaya. Connect a meeting, please. No sé si está bien así. Connect to a meeting. ¿Cómo dijo, teacher? That's what you said. Connect to a meeting. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Mira, mira que el idioma. Como conectarse a la reunión. Conectarse a la reunión. All right, connect. Mira, es la primera vez que te pido okay. la verdad. Pero ando corto. No te, no, y no, no, disculpa. No fue nada de eso. El pone. Okay. Oh, 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 sí. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Vaya. Uh -huh. Please work a report. Uh -huh. Está bien así como trabaja en el reporte. Sí. Work, work in the report. Uh -huh. Okay. Bye. Call, call the crime, please. No. Okay. Eat, don't eat here. Que eso es lo que más me dice. <laughs> Come on, Michelle. Are you serious? Yo creí que usted era la que daba esas órdenes. De like, Michelle, don't eat here. No. <laughs> Come on, Michelle. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, Michelle. Thank you, teacher. All right, to you. To you. Jorge, do you finish? Yes. Okay, man. Uh, please check my reports. Okay. 
please send off reports. Okay. Please make your homework. All right, or do your homework in this case. Okay. Don't talk here, please. Ah, okay. Finish. There you go, thank you. Veronica? Okay. Order your signs, check the reports, water the plants, and keep your phone. Keep your phone, like maintain your telephone? Mm. Guarda tu telephone, eso quise poner. Oh, okay, keep, keep, keep your phone or save your phone. Save your phone. All right, okay. there you go. Thank you. Now, let's see who else has finished. Julio Cesar. Okay. Uh, please check to expense under the report. Okay, very good. Uh, please make it uh, to accrual the monthly. Okay. Uh, please organize the meeting. Okay, very good. Please clean my computer. <laughs> Okay, cool. There you go. Thank you, Julio. Now, uh, somebody else has already finished. Ivania? Uh, please take the box to the machines. Okay. Send the report, please. Perfect. Please make copies. Okay. Prepare the samples, please. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Ivania. Uh, somebody else that has already finished. Alguien más? Okay, got it here. Gilberto. Okay. Please let's re review the production companion. Ah, okay. Very good. Let's review the production companion. Please, Mayra, con, con early. Ah, okay, very good. Please don't eat an hour working, Elena. Ah, oh, okay, all right. Please, we will have Mary. Please will we will have Mary. Uh, okay, all right. Or you might say, please. Uh, Para poner, por favor, tendremos reuniones. Ah, okay. Now, but in this case, in this case, let's put better. Please, let's have a meeting. Like this. Uh, please. Let's have a meeting like this. Let's. I, I will. Let's I, I will send it to let's you. Let's have a meeting. Yes. Y through the. Quitamos el el will y el will. Exactly. Porque en este caso no usamos los subject. No usamos el I. No usamos el you, he, she, it, we, you, they. All right. Sino que simplemente el verbo y el complemento. Okay. Y vamos okay. a poner con relación al verbo. Yeah, those are the ones. Cool. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Ok, perfect, Edgar. Me alegro que esté en casa. Ok, ¿alguien más ya terminó? Oh, somebody else has me to participate. Uh -huh. Gerardo. Ok. <coughs> Can you bring me food, please? Okay. Can call a quality, please? All right. Please, you can smoke in. Mm, okay, all right. Please, you can't eat. 
Or you might say, please don't eat. That would be okay. something better, right? Please don't eat. Ah, por favor, no comas. Okay. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right, most of you have already participated on this thing. Okay, we're going to stay in here, at least with that part, because now we're going to set up and let's go to this part, right? This is the page 22 from the manual, right? So this one is a short conversation, okay, that we are going to have about these type of things that we have been discussing right like you know the imperatives it says listen to your teacher read the conversation then practice with a partner we're gonna be practicing this short conversation you know like to put everything at the end it says this is a conversation between marcia and luke it says please send this package please send this package it says look Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Do you need anything else? He says, Marcia. Actually, yes. Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Please. Write a memo about snap the new date for the general meeting. It says, look, right away. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Marcia says. Sure, here you go. Sure, here you go. All right, let's remember that one. Oh, and look. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Please supervise the new interns. It says, look, absolutely. Absolutely. Right, that's the one. Good people, from this conversation over here, do you have any question from the vocabulary? Teacher, como diga que se decía lo primero, package. Package. No sé cómo que. Package. Package means paquete. No. All right, remember, package means paquete. Hola. Don't you listen to me, Michelle? Michelle. Teacher, please, anything. I think, I think, I think. All right, give me one Hola. second. Hola. You're back, Michelle? Eh, no, no escuché. Se cortó. Ah. Ah, ah, okay, okay. Now, in that case, it says package. Package significa paquete. The pronunciation is package. Package, okay. Cool. Ah, uh, okay. Alguien más que me había mencionado una palabra over there? Que no escuché muy bien. La palabra anything. Anything, all right. Okay, anything else. Por lo general, anything se utiliza como una palabra negativa cuando estamos hablando en una oración positiva. Y acá, en pregunta, básicamente es algo. Significa algo. Do you need anything else? ¿Necesita algo más? Do you need anything else? Right? ¿Necesita algo más? That's what it says. Cool. Any other word? ¿Alguna otra palabra con la cual tengamos dudas? Teacher, ahí donde dice yes, ma, yang. ¿Qué, cómo, qué quiere decir ahí? Yes, ma'am. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Ma'am es un término para decir sí, señora. Ma'am es para decir señora. No le escucho. Se cortó. Michelle. Y se pronuncia igual como está escrito ahí. Exactly. Ma'am. Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am. Yeah. Michelle, are you there? O sea que está abreviado como madame. Están abreviados. Ah, uh, kind of. Solo que madame, madame, eh, es una palabra de, que viene básicamente de origen francés. Pero en este caso es like ma'am, señora. That's what it means. Señora. All right, ma'am. Yeah, I mean, Michelle has, has, no se desconectó, o sea, tenía problemas con el internet. Ok, cool. Somebody else? Bueno, si no preguntamos. Ajá, ajá. Okay. Una pregunta, ¿dónde es anything else? Ah, ok, ok. Eh, lo mencionaba hace ratito. Decía que anything es básicamente una palabra negativa que es la mayoría de veces usada nada más en preguntas para mencionar a, o decir algo, algo, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, en esta pregunta dice, do you need anything else? ¿Necesita algo más? Ok. okay. Right. Anything else. Yeah. Gracias. Ok, cool. Something else? Anything else. Anything ¿Algo más? Else. Yeah. La palabra, la palabra else es más. Exactly. Else is mostly más. Más. Very good. Bien, ahora voy a preguntar una yo. Teacher. Yes. Right ma'am. away. Right away. Right away is like, ah, en este momento. Al instante. Ahorita. Right away. Como nosotros okay. decimos, ahorita. That's right away. Es, co es, un sinónimo, es un sinónimo de la palabra o de la expresión. En este caso, right now. No sé si la han escuchado antes. Right now. Ahora mismo. Exactly. Exactly. Very good. Ahora bien, voy a preguntar una. In, my, in, in this case. ¿Qué significa actually? Actualidad. Actualmente. ¿Qué significa? Ah, actualmente. ¿Sí? Actualmente, ajá. Como, eh, bueno, en ese caso, actually, es como que dijera tener usted in fact, pero solo que in fact es más polite y actually es como, como que le diga uno a un amigo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo. Ajá, ajá. Ok, cool, Carlos, thank you. Bien, listen. Para los que no saben, all right, o para los que podemos confundir esta palabra, actually no significa en la actualidad. ¿Ok? No tiene nada que ver con actualidad. Actually significa de hecho. De hecho. ¿Ok? Actually significa de hecho. En realidad. Esa es la otra traducción que podemos usar para actually. Ahora bien, la pregunta es, ah, y entonces, ¿cómo se dice actualmente? Ok, sencillo. Actualmente oh, se dice currently. Así se dice actualmente. Currently. Right? This is just for you, you know, like, like to keep knowing this, about this, right? Para que ya poco a poco vemos conociendo eh, el uso de estas palabras, right? So, currently, actualmente. Actually, de hecho o en realidad. There you go. Cool. All right, if you don't have any other question, let's continue with this. What are we going to do with the short conversation? Likely similar to the things that we did last, last time, right? Let's practice for a couple of minutes. Esta la conversación va a durar un poco menos. Por lo tanto, vamos a dar tres minutos para poder practicar. Okay, I think with two times practice, 
we can do it, okay? Lo podemos hacer. Uh, let me see, how many are we right now? We are 19. Hmm, okay. Perfect. Let's start over. I'm going to stop in here. This thing, and let's go to practice for a couple of minutes. Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay, cool. Now, let's go to practice this short conversation. Okay, you got three minutes, three minutes to practice. Let's go to it. Let's go to practice, guys. All right, Carlos, Jorge, uh, Jose. Let's enter and practice this short conversation. Okay, let's go, Emmanuel. Let's go. Let's enter in there and let's practice the conversation. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Va, hoy comienza usted otra vez. Please send this package. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the, the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. The new day for the general meeting. Right away, give it me one of those those memo memo a sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Uh, and look, please supervise. Absolutely. Please, please send this package. Yes, yes, ma'am. Look, please supervise in your details. Absolutely. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Um, do you need anything else? Actually, actually, yes, please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Please write a memo about the new that for the general mirroring. Please send this package. Yeah. Uh, yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? You please wait a moment about the new that for the general meeting. Right away, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Yes, Mama, do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. 
right away. Absolutely. Okay, comienzo usted. Comienzo yo. Mm -hmm. Please send this package. Should you go or oh, please supervise the new in the room? Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo a sticker, please. Sure. Here you go on and look, please, supervisor, the new internet. Absolutely. Okay. All right, let's start these things like right away. Soila, huh? I'm watching you. Cool, Soila, let's start. <laughs> Who are you practicing? Who are you practicing? I am with? sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, because, and because you are sleeping, let's do it. Let's start over. Give me one second. I'm gonna share the the, the PDF. There you go. There you have. Let's start the practice. Okay, cool. Let's start. Bye, Kari. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually. Yes, please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, thank you, Karen Soila. You did it excellent. Xiomara, who are you practicing with? With Jorge. Ah, okay, cool. Let's start. Please send this package. Package. Uh -huh. Jorge? Yo inicio. Ah, no, she, she started already. Ya inició ella. Okay. Bueno, que no me cargo. Uh, don't you see the screen? Ah, oh, yeah. Sí, buscándolo. Sí. Ajá, sí, porque estoy, estoy, estoy mostrando la pantalla. Ok. Eh, que empiece de nuevo, por favor. Otra vez oh. puede iniciar. Ok, Jimena. Let's start. Please, please send this package. Yes, ma. Um, do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. All right, thank you, Jorge and Xiomara. You did it excellent. Carlos Gamero, who were you practicing with? Gerardo. All right, let's start with it. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Anything else? Anything else. Very good. Actually, yes. It's great. A memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of these memo sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. There you go. Thank you, Carlos and Gerardo. William, who are you practicing with? Con Ivania. Okay. Let's start with you. Ivania, Please, you can start. Uh, Inicia, yeah? Yes. Okay. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. 
Sure. Are you go? Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, thank you, William and Ivania. Now, Veronica, who are you practicing with? With Elvi. All right. Let's start, Veronica. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Elvin and Veronica. Uh, let's move on. Let's continue. Jose Pineda, who are you practicing with? Yes. Who were you practicing with? ¿Con quién practicó? Con, conmigo. Ah, with you, Michelle. Okay, cool. Let's start, uh, Michelle. Okay. Please send this package. Yes. Man, do you need a near else? Anything else? Okay. Uh, actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Bring away. Give me one, two memo. Sticker, please. Okay. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new eater. Absolutely. Okay, very good. Absolutely. All right. Uh, so in this case, give me one second. I'm going to make this thing bigger. Okay, thank you, Jose and Michelle. Now, Gilberto, who are you practicing with? I'm Jonathan. Okay. okay, cool. Let's start, Gilberto. Come on, Jonathan, please. Ah, Jonathan, okay, cool. Please say the biker. Package, okay. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the next date for the general meeting. General meeting. General meeting. Right. Okay. Give me one of those memo sticker, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, I look at play supervise the next intern. The new interns, okay. Absolutely. Now, nah, okay, absolutely. There you go. Uh, so Sweet. thank you, Hilberto. And where is Jonathan? Okay, cool. Uh, let's see who else has already finished. Who else is missing? Okay, cool. ¿Qué pareja me falta todavía? Ya se me movieron las cuadrículas, man. And I was like, like taking it like so easy. Somebody else is missing? Let me see. Jonathan has already participated. Carlos, too. Okay, Julio Alberto. Now you're in your house, man. Sí, teacher. <laughs> ya. Yeah. Si quiere, yo no tengo problema. Yo he venido escuchando a los compañeros ahí que se extrañaron que los estaba oyendo. <laughs> ok, cool. Let me no see. tengo problema en decirle yo solo. Uh, no, man. no, 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 no problem, no problem. Aquí le vamos a buscar candidatos. <laughs> Let me see. Ok. <laughs> ok, cool. And the best candidate is going to be LB. Can you help For me out you. with that, please? <laughs> Teacher, le falta José Edgardo Correa Rivera y Emanuel y yo. Ah, ok, cool. Ah, you're, you're, you're three. Ah, ustedes son tres. Sí, somos tres, okay, pero creo que no nice. No está, creo. Bien, okay. ahorita solo está usted, José Edgar, ¿y quién era el otro? Emanuel. Emanuel, ok, Emanuel, Emanuel. Yeah, I mean, Emanuel has already gone. Cool. Let's do something. Let's do something. Let's practice you two and then 
It's going to be Julio and Elvi. Elvi, me va a ayudar con Julio, por favor, ¿ok? Va, va a tomar el papel de Marcy, ¿ok? There okay. You go. ok, cool. Carlos, let's, let's start. No, after, after Carlos and Jose. Okay. Okay, ok, ok. Ok. Cool. Ok. Are you ready, ah. Gerardo? Jose Edgar, actually. Ah, Jose Edgar, actually. Okay, teacher. Este, please. Okay. Say... Yes, ma'am. Do you need a nineteen elch elchi? Elf, elf. Actually, yes. Elf. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right, why? Right away. Give me up of thousand of, of moments. A sticker, please. All right, those memo stickers, please. Okay. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. Thank you, Jose. And Carlos, now, LB and Julio. Okay, please send this package. Yes, I am. Do you need anything else? Do you need anything else? Okay. Okay. Yes, please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of uh, those memo sticker place. <clears throat> Here you go. Oh, and look, please, supervisor, the new interns. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, cool. There you Absolutely. go. All right, nice. So basically, we got everything over here, right? Like from this conversation. By tomorrow, we're going to continue in with this part, but completing this part, completing these things. Mañana vamos a completar esta pequeña actividad que tenemos acá, en la cual vamos a hablar sobre seis cosas, ok, uh, que en este caso nuestro jefe o el jefe de ustedes necesita okay, hacer al día siguiente. Así que mañana vamos a explicar esto, vamos a comenzar con esto uh, in the class, right? Always related to, you know, give instructions. Recordemos que este tipo de temas cuando damos una instrucción o un, una orden, generalmente siempre la vamos a iniciar con un verbo. Dependiendo de la acción que vamos a mencionar o la instrucción que vamos a dar, así va a ser el tipo de verbo con el cual vamos nosotros a iniciar. Y dependiendo, obviamente, del verbo, así va a ser el complemento que se da. ¿Ok? Cool. By tomorrow, we're going to continue with that. Recordemos, igual siempre vamos a seguir con cómo hemos estado en la plataforma. Pueden avanzar en las tareas. Si ahora es clase 7 y usted quiere hacer la tarea 8, puede hacerlo, no hay ningún problema. La idea es que en la plataforma usted pueda practicar lo más que se pueda, ¿ok? Recuerde que eso es un material de apoyo que usted puede tener. Y, digamos, un, un material extra de práctica, ¿all right? Cool. So, I'm going to pass the attendance list and that's going to be everything for tonight. Just give me one second. Ah, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Nice. Cindy Good Melanie. Night. Good night, Mr. Cindy Melanie. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Present Elvi. teacher. Okay, Elvi Quintanilla. Good night, teacher. All right. Nice. Okay, uh, Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, excellent. Gustavo, he didn't show up. Ivania Jamilet. Present. Excellent. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Present. Very nice. Jose Antonio. Present. Okay. Jose, let's remember. We're going to stay in the feedback, okay? No se yes. Ir. Okay. Jose Edgar. Present. All right. Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, cool. Juan Gilberto. Present, teacher. Very nice. Julio Alberto. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Julio Cesar. Present. Very nice. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Luis Gerardo. Present. Excellent. Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, excellent. 
Let's move. Wendy Jamilet, she didn't show up. Uh, William Ernesto. Okay, William is the one. Uh, William, are you there? Present teacher. Okay, cool. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Nice. Teacher. Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Yeah. Okay, cool. What's that, William? Okay, yeah, I mean, he has to be the next. Present Car teacher. Okay, okay. Carlos Jose. Good night, teacher. All right, good night, mister. And the last one, Soy La Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Thank you for connecting to the class, people. Let's see you tomorrow in another video conference, okay? Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Good night. Good, good, night. Night. good, good night, night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, mister. See you. See you, everybody. Bye-bye. All right, just give me one second, Jose, so we, we're going to start, or we're about to start with this. Okay, let's start over. Uh, esos 10 minutos de, 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 de retroalimentación, Jose, son básicamente para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a esta clase y las clases anteriores. Okay, así que cualquier duda que pudo haber surgido en estas, en estas clases uh, y todavía lo recuerda, pues me puede preguntar y pues así de, 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 de esa manera poder aclarar cualquier duda que se pueda tener. Ser. Let's remember, it can be about anything. Puede ser sobre las clases, sobre la plataforma, si hay algo que no comprendemos. ¿Ok? No, eh, fíjense que vaya. Eh, yo, o sea, como soy principiante, ¿va? o sea, no... No... Ajá. O sea, no... Como le dijera, no me... O sea, no me desenvuelvo como... O sea, tal vez una espera, o sea, o sea así que... Ajá, ajá. A la hora de, ajá. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's understandable, no se preocupe, es entendible, apenas es el segundo módulo, ok, eh, pero la idea es estar constantes ahí, estar practicando, estar aprendiendo nuevo vocabulario con cada tema eh, visto, ok, so the idea is like, like that, right? La idea es esa, poder continuar y poco a poco, pues, así es como se va avanzando, ok. En ese aspecto, sí, eh, no quiero que se sienta así como frustrado, que Pudi pudiese haber sido mejor, pero se siente como que ah, hay muchos que van adelante de usted o cualquier cosa. No, este es un proceso, recuerde. Apenas es el segundo módulo, segundo mes, entonces, por lo tanto, vamos comenzando el proceso, ¿ok? Vamos comenzando. Sí. Ya, yeah, así se comienza. Y ahí, sí. Y la otra, digamos... Hay, hay palabras que, digamos, me cuesta, me cuesta mucho, digamos, como para traducirla, va, digamos. Ajá, ajá. Ajá. La verdad, o sea, a la, la hora que, que, digamos, voy a formar una oración, o sea, no, no voy a mentir, va, o sea, me voy al traductor y formo la palabra y me sale como lo voy a, a pronunciar, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. Ajá. Ya, yeah, I mean, otra cosa sí. igual, si no está seguro de la palabra, a veces que muestra en el traductor, eh, simplemente usted me puede mandar un mensaje a través del chat y eh, solicitándome ayuda y yo con gusto, pues, le voy a colaborar tanto en la escritura de la palabra como en la pronunciación correcta. Sí. Eso igual, siempre quiero que lo haga porque así de esa manera, pues, Vamos a ir tomando un poco más de confianza y pues usted sabe que a veces el traductor se suele equivocar y entonces ya así de esa manera, pues usted va a tener cómo se escribe la palabra y cómo se pronuncia también de manera correcta. Sí. Yeah.
Eh, y de ahí todo bien. Everything ok, está acá, todo, todo bien, no, no hay ninguna, eh, todo está entendido en los, los, los temas. Ok, con las tareas, sí. ¿cómo vamos? Eh, creo que voy por las tareas 7, tarea 8, algo así. Ah, ok, perfecto, perfecto. Sí. Vamos bien. Igual, recordemos que eh, eh, a más tardar este viernes vamos a hacer el examen de medio curso, que es el midterm que aparece en la section 2 de la plataforma. Okay. Okay. Sí. Ajá. Tendríamos entonces la tarea de las 6 a la 10 y el examen S para esta semana. De la, Ajá, de la 6 a la 10. De la 6 a la 10 y ese examen que aparece abajito de ahí de la, de la, de la unidad 2, básicamente. Ese examen, si ya puede tener tiempo usted estos días de poderlo avanzar, no hay ningún problema, puede avanzar. ¿Ok? Puede hacer. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Porque ahí la idea principal sí. es que usted pueda practicar lo que se ve acá en la clase. Sí. Y una consulta, teacher. Eh, Ajá. Dice que como, vaya, yo tengo unos, unos no sé si es problema de la, de la aplicación, ¿verdad? Que piensa que, o sea, tengo unos audífonos, unos auriculares que son Bluetooth, ¿verdad? Pero no, Ajá. a la hora que, digamos, me conecto con ellos, Ajá. de repente se sale, o sea, la misma aplicación me saca de la conferencia. ¿verdad? Ah, sí, de la... sí. Ya, eso está, está, está extraño. Ajá, porque me han dicho que eso, eso es que la aplicación a veces. Sí, a veces la aplicación suele, suele, suele pasar eso, suele suceder. Uh -huh. Entonces, y más cuando los, eh, los auriculares son con Bluetooth, igual fungen dos funciones a veces, o sea, Sí. Eh, ahí lo único que tiene que hacer es en la parte donde parece como el pequeño micro, micrófono seleccionar el, 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 digamos, la salida de audio adecuada. Vaya, por ejemplo, en este caso, si se conecta con los audífonos que tienen Bluetooth, seleccione ahí el audífono que tiene Bluetooth en la parte del audio. Así, pues, digamos que de esa manera, ah, si lo hace manual, pues a lo mejor no pueda tener eso, 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 esos inconvenientes. Donde aparece el pequeño okay. micrófono. Ajá. Ahí usted puede seleccionar sí. el, el, el tipo de micrófono. Uh -huh. Y el tipo de audio. Sí. Ajá. Entonces ahí podemos solucionar esa, ese aspecto. Sí. Y, y la otra, digamos, que como le comentaba, o sea, algunas palabras, sí, o sea, a mí me, como, como decía, bajas... Desde de cero, ¿va? me cuesta pronunciarlo exacto, también. Exacto. Ajá. Sí. No, por eso mismo le mencionaba que cualquier, o sea, la palabra que usted tenga, que usted sienta que no puede pronunciarla o que la está haciendo mal, usted no tenga dudas o no dude en mandarme un mensaje a través del chat de Zoom o enciende el micrófono y pregúnteme. ¿Ok? Que yo, sí. por más que esté explicando un tema, si usted me dice, mire, teacher, no, no, no sé la pronunciación de esta palabra, ¿cómo se dice? Yo con gusto le voy a dar la pronunciación y le voy a dar la traducción, ¿ok? Para que okay. así de esa manera, pues, vayamos tomando sintonía y pues vayamos conociendo más vocabulario y pronunciándolo de la manera correcta. Ok. All right. Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a ir haciendo, pues, así para que poco a poco vayamos tomando un poco más de confianza, como dicen. All right. Sí. Y pues se pueda ir preguntando más y de esa manera ir aprendiendo más. Sí. Right. Ahí llegó José, no sé si tiene alguna otra duda, alguna otra pregunta. Ahí quiero ver. No. Son nada más. Okay. Only that. All right. Very good. Sí. Bueno, entonces básicamente nos quedamos con eso. Igual, como le digo. Cualquier sí. cosa, siempre, 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 pregúnteme en la clase, que yo voy a estar disponible siempre para, ok, pronunciar la palabra que tal vez usted pueda tener problemas o traducirle cualquier palabra con la cual usted pueda estar trabajando y, y pues tener dificultad, ok. Para eso estoy acá, para poderlos ayudar y pues poder aprender, ok. 
Sí, y alguna, digamos, como alguna táctica, sí, digamos, como para ir soltando, digamos, uno con confianza la... Para ir pronunciando así, a veces me han dicho que, digamos, oír música en inglés o ver películas así. Exactamente, fíjense que lo que más funciona en este caso, eh, en, este, en este tipo de, de, de escenarios así, es más que todo la música en inglés. Ayuda. Música en inglés. Exacto. Cuando estamos okay. hablando de música en inglés, estamos hablando más que todo, la que más ayuda es como música clásica. Right. No, sí, ese pop es. clásico, ese rock clásico, estamos hablando de bandas como Aerosmith, uh, Guns N' Roses, eh, por ejemplo, Bon Jovi, Elton John, okay, The Police. Sí. Entonces, ese tipo de pronunciación que esas bandas o esos artistas hacen son bastante claros y okay, bastante entendibles. Y igual, o sea, poco a poco nosotros, a través de, 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 o sea, de escuchar sus canciones y todo, Ahí es donde se nos van quedando la pronunciación de muchas palabras. O sea, que, que va, o sea, como adaptando, digamos, o sea, a pronunciar la, la Exacto. palabra. Exactamente. Okay. Recuerde que sí. aquí básicamente nosotros estamos como cuando un niño es pequeño. ¿okay? Sí. Un niño va escuchando, sí. escuchando, escuchando, y a través de lo que escucha, él vuelve a producir, y así es como va aprendiendo las palabras del idioma. Sí. Entonces, así básicamente estamos en ese proceso nosotros acá. Sí, como aquí entro, no, o sea, yo pienso que ahí el detalle que yo tuve la oportunidad de estudiar hasta sexto grado. Ah, ok. Sí. Ajá. Como en, así, digamos, ya antes de, digamos, así a mi, a mi, a mi edad, ¿verdad? Ya, desde Ajá. noveno, desde séptimo grado, ya les empezaban a dar la materia esta de, de sí, inglés. Sí, de, de inglés, es, es correcto, sí, sí, sí. Sí, no, no, no logré yo llegar hasta ahí. Hasta ese. No, pero sí. ya, ahora ya tiene la oportunidad y pues hay que sacarle el mayor provecho posible. Sí. Es como que bueno, estuviera bueno. recibiendo una mate la materia, sí, ¿verdad? Exactamente, sí. exactamente. Entonces acá lo único que hay que hacer es pues, Tratar de igual, siempre ir practicando las palabras que vamos conociendo, tanto la pronunciación como la manera en cómo se escribe, y así poco a poco van a irse quedando, van, se van a ir, los, la vamos a ir memorizando, y ya pues en futuras conversaciones, en futuros párrafos de hacer o, o oraciones, pues ya se nos hace más, más fácil el poderlos identificar en contexto, ¿ok? Entonces, sí. pero lo que quiero es que igual, en este, en, de, de ahora en adelante, es cierto que a veces suele ser un tanto frustrante, a veces no conocer la pronunciación de una palabra, a veces no conocer cómo se escribe, pero este es un proceso, como le digo, usted apenas va comenzando y va a ver que en un par de meses, si todo sale bien, si continuamos en el proceso, usted va a ver un gran cambio en cuanto al, sí. al, al uso de vocabulario, en cuanto a cómo oras, hacer oraciones, entonces la posición que está ahorita o el nivel que tiene ahorita al nivel que va a tener en unos cuatro o cinco meses usted va a ver que va a haber un gran cambio sí, ya no va a ser el mismo. Lo, sí. exactamente ahí pues va a depender también de la motivación que usted le ponga a ellos ¿Sí? claro sí Exacto. entonces así va a ser y pues igual como le digo siempre y cuando estemos acá en clase y todo usted puede preguntar, ok, y, y pues para eso estamos, con gusto yo le puedo aclarar cualquier duda en cuanto a pronunciación o traducción de alguna palabra, ok. Ok, teacher. Perfecto, José, entonces así vamos a quedar, ok. Vaya, está bien, entonces. Vaya, muy bien, José, entonces, ya sabe, entonces, cualquier cosa, ahí estamos, inclusive en el grupo de WhatsApp, cualquier pregunta ahí, pues, siempre relacionada a la clase, con gusto yo le voy a responder, ok. Ok. Perfecto, José. Entonces, nos vemos mañana en la siguiente videoconferencia, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. There you go. Gracias. Good, good night, José. All right. Good night. Good night. Gracias. Bye-bye. De nada, Gracias. de nada. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.